Hello, my name is David Worden. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about false tones. These are tones you won't find on the fingering charts typically. Tones that are not, in theory, on the instrument. The first ones I learned were when I was playing on a three valve euphonium and I wanted to get down lower in the scale than I could using all three valves. The lowest note would be a concert E. Uh, that's the one right above the pedal tone. On a three valve instrument, starting on your normal low B flat or C in treble. That's the bottom. And then the next note below that. There's a gap there of a tritone or an augmented fourth. So I wanted the notes in between. First, I wanted to play just a normal scale down there. So, using my fourth valve. I had already been able to play that pedal B flat on the bottom, and I wanted to fill in the scale with notes that are missing on the three valve instrument. Well, I learned there's a range of notes in the middle that you can play with only three valves. So, I'll move my hand a little bit so it's clear I'm not using the fourth valve. They don't sound very good, do they? But the notes are interesting to practice. Uh, I doubt they'll be useful for euphonium players. I do hear from tuba players that often on a three valve instrument they use those tones. They learn to play them with clarity. I've heard jazz trombonist, uh, the late Bill Watrous, do a scale from a high E flat all the way down diatonically, every note in the scale, down to a pedal, I believe it was a pedal E flat. When he played them, it sounded great. So on a trombone or a tuba, they're probably practical. On an instrument like a euphonium, I don't think they're practical. But they are inter interesting to practice. Uh, I found them by starting on that low B flat, or again, C and treble, and just pushing up a little bit. For some reason, there's all that range in there. I could not do the same thing an octave higher. It jumps up rather quickly before I've gone much more than a step. So that's a little tidbit. You can try to practice those if you wish. I find that um, most of the euphoniums I've tried can go from that B flat up a major third to a D or an E in treble. If you push a little harder, you can even get the E flat or F in treble, which is how I played that scale. So I use that, I find that uh, the major third, that D or E, is sort of a comfortable note. So I'll use that as my foundation. So if I want to play a step lower than that, I'll play that note plus first valve, which lowers by a step. Again, just something you can play around with. It's probably a good exercise in some way or other, although I haven't quite figured out how that is yet. But the ones I actually have used in performance are way below the pedal tone range, starting on the, we have a very low note on the euphonium with four valves. We can go down to the bottom B on the piano, which is getting pretty low. But then, of course, we're all out of valves. And again, in theory, we're starting on the bottom note of the instrument and adding valves to go down a uh, major seventh. But we're out of ideas at that point. Well, there is a false tone series below that, and I find that for me, the first false tone is actually about a half step high. If I try to get a false tone of the B flat or C in treble, I need to add a half step or I'd add, I'd add the second valve in this case. So I'll play an arpeggio down to it. If you go to YouTube and listen to the recital I did at iTech on June 1st, 
I played the Capuzzi Allegro Moderato, which is the first movement of the Capuzzi Concerto, and in the cadenza I went down to that note in performance. You can go a little bit lower. Again, I continue to add a half step to the fingering, but I'll try it now from an A concert or a B in treble. <laughs> Now that starts to get kind of weak for me and going below that gets even weaker, but I'm working on that. I think it's probably possible to go quite a bit below that with false tones. Just something to think about. Uh, might want to work on them just for fun. Certainly in cadenzas, you might use those lower notes. Generally speaking, we're trying to show off a little technique at a cadenza, um, especially in, in uh, the theme and the variations type solos. So you perhaps can wow the crowd by going down to a note they haven't heard before on euphonium. I hope that's been helpful, or at least interesting. Uh, play around with those notes a little bit and see how they work for you. Thanks for listening.